Hey everyone, it is uh, Wednesday, February 7th, uh, college of basketball tonight. Not a lot of games, but I do have actually, I have a play, so it'll take a little bit to get through this. But uh, game one is Wisconsin. Uh, Wisconsin is actually at Michigan. Um, it's Ken Palm 13 versus Ken Palm 100. Wisconsin is only a five and a half point favorite. Again, it is a road conference game, totally get it, but Michigan is obviously a mess. Their season's been just horrible. Wisconsin's obviously in the hunt for the Big Ten champions. Uh, Michigan is, you know, near at the bottom. Uh, lost nine to ten games. Last five are double-digit games. They're just not even competitive anymore. They've kind of given up on the season. Uh, so uh, Wisconsin, who made at winning the Big Ten, only giving five and a half points. I'm totally going to take that. So Wisconsin. Uh, game two, Gardner Webb. Uh, they're actually at Presbyterian. Gardner Webb is a three and a half point underdog. I'm going to take them. They are 11 and 12 on the season. So it doesn't sound impressive, but they have won six straight, including beating Presbyterian by 16 at home, 16 points. Um, all six of those games, they scored at least 74 points. So they just flipped the switch. They're scoring points. Uh, they are beating teams. And again, just beat the same team by 16 uh, two weeks ago. And Presbyterian, 10 of 14, lost 7 of 8, so they're playing their worst ball. Five of those seven losses, double digits. So I'm just taking Gardner-Webb, better team, playing better, getting 3.5 points. Don't care that it's on the road. Uh, game 3, Colgate at Boston U. Uh, Colgate is a 6.5 point favorite on the road. Better team, but you know, it's a decent number on the road here. Six and a half points, totally get it, as I say all the time. You know, it's the whole, some people will never take the road favorites, but I'm taking a shot here. Colgate, 15 and 8 on the year. They've won six straight, won nine of 10, so they're playing good ball and pretty much have all year. Uh, for the last five teams they've played, they held under 60 points, so their defense has actually been great. They beat Boston already this year, beat them by 16 points, beat them at home, but it was 16. Uh, Boston, 9 and 14 on the year. Uh, the six of the last seven games scored 63 points or fewer. So, like I said, Colgate's holding teams under 60 here uh, a lot. Boston's not scoring over 63 anyway. I'm not worried about Colgate. Um, matter of fact, I'm kind of doing a twofer on this game, and I'm going to take the Boston team, tundra, uh, team total under. 63.5, 63.5. So like I said, they are, you know, I, I understand why it's set that way because that's kind of how they've been playing. But like I said, they've been going under this. Colgate's been holding teams under it. So I'm going to go with the 63.5 Boston team total, uh, team total under. So I'm taking two plays here. Uh, next game is Bucknell at Navy. Bucknell, point and a half uh, underdog on the road. Um, they're 9 and 14, so it doesn't look impressive, but uh, they are 4 and 2 in their last six. The other two, uh, the two losses were actually road overtime uh, games, so they had a chance to win those. And six straight looks good, but I said, you know, two overtime losses, not, not so bad. So they are, again, playing, playing their best ball right now. Also played Navy. They beat them by eight during this time, so they've already beat this team. Navy, 8 and 13 on the year, lost four straight. They've allowed at least 71 points in all these games. Again, you know, they're giving up. Their defense has not been good. Bucknell's beat them already. They're getting a point and a half. I know it's a road game, uh, road uh, underdog, but I'm going to take them. Uh, next game, Coastal Carolina at Louisiana Monroe. Um, looking at the over here, 146.5, 146 and a half. Um, the two... Two offenses are scoring 147, so right there at that number we need. Their defenses are giving up 154 and a half, so quite a bit more, which is I like to see. Um, this is more, it's not really about Ken Palm ratings or, you know, shooting percentages or whatever. This is really just about how they've been playing. Their defenses have been bad all year, uh, but lately uh, Coastal Carolina has gone over this number in four of five games, and Louisiana Monroe has gone over this in five of six games. So it's really just how they've been playing uh, lately. So it was originally going to be a lean because I don't really have a lot of, you know, big time numbers to kind of, you know, tell me it's going to go over other than just really how they, they, their defense has been bad all year and uh, how they've been playing lately, so I'm going to go with it. Um, next game, Missouri State at Northern Iowa. Missouri State, four and a half point underdog. Taking Missouri State, 14-9 uh, and nine on the year, one four straight, playing their best little ball here in conference. Uh, they beat uh, Drake, 
which is pretty impressive to beat SIU, to beat Belmont, and I think Valparaiso, which everybody beats. But three of those they scored in the 80s. Two of those road overtime games, they're still scoring some points here. So they a nice little run here, scoring some points, beating some good teams. Northern Iowa had a really nice run for a while, but they've now lost three straight games. They're uh, 12 and 11 on the season. All three of those games they've lost recently were all double digit games, uh, including a home game they just played where they only scored 43 points against Murray State, who's 9 and 14 on the year. So, like I said, they uh, struggled early in the year, had a really nice run where they were winning. Now, lost three straight, not really very competitive. Again, 43 points at home is, is pretty rough. So, uh, I'm going to take Missouri State, who's a better team, playing better, getting four and a half points, even though it's a road conference game. Um, next game, Northwestern at Nebraska. Northwestern, six and a half point favorite on the road. Again, favorite road conference game. I get it. Uh, simply put, I'm going to make this game actual simple. They're both good teams. They're both going to end up making the tournament. I'm surprised Nebraska was as good as they are, but they have been. But here's the, the both of these teams are very dependent on if they're playing home or away. Make this simple for you. Northwestern, 11 and one at home. Uh, Nebraska one and six on the road, and it's kind of vice versa. If they were if were flipped, it's weird the way it is. But these two teams are really dependent on where they play. So Northwestern does not lose uh, at home. Nebraska does not win on the road. And so I'll give the six and a half points. And uh, it, I don't play a lot of I don't play favorite money lines, but this would be one of those if you were going to play. If you're a favorite money line guy, you don't know what the number is on it, but you might want to play it. But I'll I'll give the six and a half points. I'll give it a shot here. Um, final game. Florida Gulf Coast at Eastern Kentucky. Simply, I'm taking the Eastern Kentucky uh, over here, the team total, 74 and a half. Uh, they're averaging 81 and a half points on the year. Florida Gulf Coast defense uh, averaging 72.2. Uh, they have been giving up fewer points lately, which is why originally this was a lean, but I'm going to go ahead and play it. But uh, like I said, we're looking at 75 points here. We're trying to get with Eastern Kentucky. Uh, Eastern Kentucky has hit that number in seven straight games. Uh, 170th uh, in Ken Palm and offense, Florida Gulf Coast, 286. I can give you some more numbers here, but realistically, it's Eastern Kentucky has just been scoring a ton of points lately. They have the number one um, uh, pace in, in, uh, in college, and they're just cranking this up and down. And so, uh, like I said, they're just they're hitting this number. It's really that simple. So, a um, bunch of games here for you. Hopefully, good luck tonight. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate all of it. So.